Hello and welcome. Yes, the TX10 Femi controller. Had a bunch of updates. Going to get into that. The new app, which is the Femi Navi 2 app, not the Femi Navi 2020, has the 1.0.5 update that introduces the attitude diagram and, or I should say, it addresses the attitude diagram somewhat and also the find my drone feature plus some other things we're going to get into. We're going to get into high contrast you can change on here. We're going to get into the HDMI. We're going to get into wallpaper. Uh, we're going to get into a few things, okay? So this is number eight in the series, and I don't know how high we're going to go, but I have numbered them one, two, three, four, five, just to have some chronological order of history so it's easier to go through the progression of this, okay? And don't forget to visit the Facebook group, Femi TX10 Controller, where we discuss everything that's going on, issues you can have, how we can fix it. Let's get the discussion going and find out some answers, okay? Every issue I have, I get a hold of Femi and we have a good conversation and we try and figure it all out, okay? Let's get into this. The Femi TX10 Controller and the X8SE 2022. Let's get it up in the air. Here it goes. It's fairly steady. By no means is it a DJI. Okay, it's up there. I'm just gonna bring it down. Move over this way. We're gonna send it down to get rid of the noise, okay? Okay, you should still be able to see it there. Okay, it's going to wander a little bit because it's a Femi, but it's not too bad. Okay, what I want to show you here is, can, I, can you see that here? Okay, see that connector here? I've used, I'm just using a lavalier mic, and it's got a 90 degree connector. And it's TRRS, not TRS. That's important. So it's a 90 degree TRRS to TRRS. And the lavalier is TRRS as well. Okay. It's there. It has moved a bit. Here's my lavalier mic. Let's get it back into frame a little bit. There we go. Now we're going to bring it back down a bit. And I'm just going to show you the yaw spin. Okay, yaw spin, full spin to the right, no problems, okay, no problems the other way. I had issues with it before, not a problem. Let's send it down a little bit. There we are, we're down there. We have the skis on so we can land it and I'll show you the find me feature. But if you look in the bottom corner here, now you can see there, I'll have to turn around to get away from the sun glare. There we go. We'll go that way a bit. There we go. Okay, nice and bright. There we are, up a bit. Let's see, it doesn't like low altitude. There we go. Okay. So we're going to discuss this attitude. And if you can see the orange diagram, and I'm going to rotate it. Watch the orange triangle on the bottom. A sun flare, sun flare. Okay. See it? Okay. Now I'm going to put it up in the air. Let's go this way. Let's just get it up in the air a bit. Up we go. And we're going to send it out. There we go. We're up a good distance. We're going to send it out a bit. Okay, and you notice that north doesn't change, does it? And it says it's facing me, but it's not. So the attitude isn't quite right. 
If I turn it so that that arrow is facing the other way, let's get my glasses on here so I, I can actually see it. Okay, I have one wonky eye. So we're gonna... Okay, now that should be, according to that, going directly to my right. And I'll go forward. Well, it's actually coming straight at me. So, it doesn't really work. So I don't know what they're going to do. I'll get rid of the glasses. There we go. Let's bring it back. Anyway, so the attitude, it's a little wonky. The, it doesn't have a magnetometer. There's no magnets in here to give you north or south or a compass. So the north doesn't move anywhere. Uh, but I'm a little disappointed that the arrow isn't exactly right. Because I'm facing the drone, so that arrow should be directly facing me, but it's not, okay? If I turn it so it's... There. It's going away from me, it should be coming towards me. It's not, anyway. So it doesn't really work that well. Maybe the next update it will. If you have a different experience, let me know and show me some video and I'll bring that to Femi's attention that on some of them it does work and some of them it doesn't. I don't know. I know that if I'm using a phone as the device, it works, per it works really good. It really does. Okay. The north changes and the actual direction of the drone points right to home. That's great. So let's do the find me function. So let's bring this back. It's up there. And bring it down. Here it comes. Okay, turn it around. Let's go downwind a little bit. Just in the shade there. Let's get in the shade a little bit. There, a little bit cooler. Okay, we're gonna land it there. Land, boom. Okay, and the motors are turned off. So, let's up that camera a bit, just to get out of the weeds there. Okay, now then, we're gonna go and press settings. I'm gonna go down to here. And if you look in here, it says, find my drone. And we're gonna switch over to satellite mode. And because I'm connected to the house, I have this. If I wasn't connected to the house Wi-Fi, I would have no maps. And at the bottom, it says map navigation. If you press that, it asks you to install a map or load a map, but there's no instructions on how to do that. So again, I'm, I'm working on that part of it. But as you see, the, the center black spot there is this house. So where's my drone? Well, watch this. I have to zoom in. See, it's almost there. There it is. But if I zoom in, it goes away. So the actual drone covers about a 200 by 200 foot or probably about 100 meter square area. That's as close as you're going to get. So let's turn on the beep. Okay. Here it says, here, start beeping. And then it says, stop beeping. So it's starting to beep. Let's walk down there and see how close we get before we hear it. I'm now about seven meters away. I don't hear it. About three meters away. I don't hear it.
Oh, I can hear it. Hear that? But you'd never hear that standing a meter away. Now then, if I hit the stop button, listen. It gives you the opening chime, which is great. So if you wanna, if you get close, hit it, it gives you the chime, Stop it. There's a start. Stop. Hmm. Doesn't do it all the time. Just the first time. Stop. No. So the first time it does. After that it doesn't. That's not a great thing. So let's start the beeping again. Okay, I can hear the beeping. So if I stop it, there it goes. You must have to wait a bit. So it does work like that. Let's turn this off now. I'm going to put it back on the stand here. So there are a few glitches, but it's not bad. And Yes, they're a little late to the party because a lot of drones have had this feature in the past and some of them have a very loud beep. Now I must say the DJI, like the Mavic Mini and the other ones too, have a phenomenal Find My Drone. They're within a few meters and you can zoom right in, no problem at all. This one has a little bit problem. When it's on the phone, find me feature you can zoom in as close as you want and you'll get it but not on the tx10 controller next thing i want to show you is the contrast so let's get out of this we're going to stop stop that get out of all that we're back to the beginning here and we're going to go and look at contrast so if you hit and go down to accessibility and go to the bottom You'll see something that says high contrast, experimental. It is experimental. Now watch the diet, watch all the blackness. If I hit it, turn it on. See it goes a little darker, turn it off, a little lighter. It's a good and bad, it's a yin and a ya, because when you turn it on, some of the display labels are so highly contrasted they lose all their color. They're very hard to see. So it's better to keep it on like this. And if you're inside and you don't want to mess around with the um, brightness and stuff, I found putting it into night mode, and I'll show you that here. You can see there it says night light. If I flip that on, <clears throat> it goes darker. And that's really nice inside. Turn it off. And we're back to brightness again. Okay. And we'll shut all that off. So we have done just about everything there. Um, the wallpaper. Okay. Let's say we want to change wallpaper. We go into display. Okay. Go to wallpaper. And go into your gallery and you pick a picture that you want. So here I've got, <clears throat> here I've got a picture. Okay. What have I got here? Nope, not that one. This one here. So this picture here is actually 1080 by 1080. Okay. Now, if I just go back one screen, go to wallpaper. Okay, if you can see that picture there, you see I've got lines. Okay, when I view it, it doesn't show the lines. If I set it as wallpaper, and I get out of that, you see how those lines top and bottom disappear? It's correct dimensionally width-wise, but not vertically. 
it cuts out 250 pixels top and bottom. And I'll show you that in another picture up here as well. So what I did was display wallpaper, wallpaper, two images, that one, okay, bingo. Now that image is actually 1618 by 1134, okay? 1618 by 1134. 1134 width-wise, no. 1130, 1614 width-wise, 1134 height-wise. And it's off-center. So you'll see this picture looks a little off-center. But if I set it from my wallpaper, it's right in the middle. Don't ask me why. And I've asked Femi this for a month now, and they have no answer. And I've tried literally a few dozen different sizes. 1080p, 2K, 3K, 4K, 720, you name it, all kinds of dimensions. Now, 1080, wow, that was a lot of geese. 1080 by 1080, a square picture, gives you the right width, but you lose 250 top and bottom, if you're interested, okay? This one, 1618 by 1134, move the image you want to the center left a little bit, works fine. It's something they have to work on. So now we're gonna go inside, we've done everything on our list here, yeah. And we're gonna go and show you how the HDMI works. And it works very well, very simple, okay? So let's go inside and do that. Then we'll come back for a conclusion, okay? There we go. We're in the office here. I'm gonna show you the HDMI. Now I've got the HDMI hooked up to the computer monitor. I just have to switch it over to the HDMI setting. But first I wanna show you something on the controller that I've just noticed. So this controller here, well, it's kind of hard to see, but it's okay there. Okay, if you swipe up, you get the widgets. Swipe down, you get the main screen. Swipe left, and you get the Android navigation buttons. If you wiggle up and down, watch this, I'll go down up. See this comes up here? And this is a quick menu for those items. Okay, just tap again and you're away. So let's change the HDMI monitor here. I might need my glasses here just to have a look. So it's hard to see in this office here. Okay, menu. And we go down to image input. Okay. And we go down to HDMI and select. And all we do is plug this in, like so. Voila. And when you move up and down, that comes up, OK? Anything you want to look at comes up, OK? And press and hold. Swipe up, and the screen is there. Remember, you have to have the monitor turned on first before you plug in the HDMI cable. And getting out of it, you have to go back into your normal menu before you turn off the HDMI, before you unplug it, or else you won't be able to change the monitor back. So we go back to menu, we go down to input, and we go up to DVI, Select, and we're back to our computer monitor. Yeah, I'm looking for a small monitor, so we'll see that. We just disconnect this. And remember I told you about that uh, 45 degree TRS? That's what it is right here, okay? You can see it there. 
There it is. It's just a 45, and that makes it a lot easier coming out of here. So that's the HDMI. Works great. So how was all that? A lot of stuff into one video, I know. But if anything new comes up or any other problems I have, I'll let you know. And don't forget, don't worry about taking this apart. It's very easy, okay? You can't really mess anything up. Just be very careful when you put the fan back in. And it might take a little bit of wiggling, finagling. And don't over-tighten the screws, okay? But I've been in this, inside this maybe a couple of dozen times. And uh, I've figured a few things out. Go to the Facebook page, the Facebook group, and let's discuss it, okay? Till next time, have a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next time. Well, when there's another update, or something else happens, or I find something new and exciting, okay? Take care, get out. I gotta cut the grass today, so I'll be busy. Bye now.